Good morning. Well, it's probably not morning when you're watching this, but no. hello. <laughs> this was all. <laughs> Ms. Nelson. <laughs> so um, what we're doing today is we're doing word problems um, to inequalities notes. And I'm going to zero in just a little bit. And um, Ms. Nelson is going to do this first one with you. And we have a few tools um, that we use whenever we're doing these. And I would just write them at the top. And it's tools whenever you have word problems to keep you straight. OK, so the first thing, and you have heard us mention a coefficient before, but we are going to triangle the coefficient. OK, we are going to box or draw a rectangle around the constant. And the constant is that thing that no matter what, it's still going to be there. And then we are going to circle the total. OK, so each time we do a word problem, especially with equations and inequalities, you are going to see us use these. That way, um, you know, we know what, exactly what we are going to do. So problem number one says, Tommy mows lawns and cleans pools during the summer. He earns $20 per lawn and $9 per pool. He needs $1,500 to buy a car from his friend. If Tommy plans to mow 41 lawns this summer, how many pools must he clean to earn at least $1,500? Okay, so the first thing we are going to do, like Ms. Hall said in the last set of notes over does the value make it true, anytime you have a per, okay, that means that it is per each item. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to triangle that and I'm going to triangle my nine. Now, we may not use both of these because there's an additional step we have to do, but we're going to triangle it for right now. Okay, and then he needs $1,500, so that's going to be my total. Down here, it tells us that he mows 41 lawns, okay? So we have got to do some side work to figure out how much he's actually spending or, I mean, receiving whenever he does that. So we're going to do side work of 41 times 20. Okay, and when we do that, we get a total of 820. So we know that no matter what, he is going to earn $820. That is important because that is going to become our constant. We know that no matter what, that is how much he is going to get. So at the end of our problem, it says he must earn at least $1,500. Okay, that means that that is the minimum that he can get. He can do more than that, but that is what he has to have in order to earn or be able to buy the car. So when we write our equation, I have now used this 20, and my 20 has turned into my 820 because I multiplied it. So what we're going to do, we're going to put 9x because of this $9 per pull. We're trying to figure out how many pulls he's got to do plus my 820, and that is going to be greater than or equal to 1,500, okay? You know that it's equal to 1,500 because he can just earn $1,500 and he'll be able to buy the car, or he can get more and he will have extra money. So this goes back to what we did earlier when we were solving. We're going to subtract 820 from each side. That leaves me with a 9x here, still greater than or equal to. 1500 minus 820 is 680. Okay, now we're going to divide by 9 to get the x by itself. Now, because this is a positive number, remember we are not going to change our inequality symbol. It is going to remain in face the same way. So I'm going to do 680 divided by 9 over here. We get 7, which is 63. We have 5, bring down that 0. We have a 5, which is. 45. I have 5 left over. I'm going to have to add a decimal and a 0 and a 5. And you see it's repeating. So x is greater than or equal to 75.5 repeating. However, because we are talking about real things in life, you cannot clean 75 and a half pulls. Okay? Somebody's not going to be very happy if you only clean half of their pull. So what we do we round this answer up to 76 pulls because of the situation that we were dealing with. Okay? All right, so let's continue. Number two says the ninth grade class at Pi High is having a fundraiser. They need to raise at least $1,500. They are selling magazines for seven each. How many subscriptions does the class need to meet their full fundraising goal? Okay, so your seven each. That's going to be 
receive your triangle at least 1500 that is your total and in this case we don't have any other numbers so we know because we do not have a constant this is going to be a one-step equation so we're going to write it as 7x is less than or equal to 1500 okay so what we're going to do we're going to go through we're going to skip this step because we don't need it we're going to divide each by 7. That will cancel out the 7. So x is greater than, I'm sorry, less than or equal to. Let me fix myself before I confuse y'all. So that is a less than or equal to. And I'm going to do 1,500 divided by 7. Okay, that leaves one left over. It goes into 10 one time. Goes into 30 four times, which is 28 going to have to add a decimal and a zero. 7 goes into 20 twice, which is 14. So we have done enough that we know that x is less than or equal to 214.2. Okay, But again, just like in number 1, whenever we have, um, you're talking about real items, you cannot sell 214.2 magazines, so you always have to round it up to 215 magazines. Okay, so that is actually our answer for that problem because, again, of the situation that we were dealing with. Got it. Okay, number three. Joey can spend no more than $28 on MP3 downloads. If each song um, downloaded costs $1.29 and it costs $9.99 to download the entire album. Joey wants to download the newest Luke Bryan album. How many individual songs can he download after he downloads the album? So let's go through and read and um, mark our coefficient constant in total. So we know no more than, so let's underline that because that's going to be important when we're deciding what our um, inequality sign is. $28, that would be our total. So we're going to circle that on mp3 downloads. Each song, remember we talked about those keywords when we're looking for the number that's attached to um, the variable, each, every, um, so those are some, so each song, so we know that this is our coefficient, a dollar twenty-nine, and it costs nine ninety-nine to download the whole album, and that is our constant, so we're going to square that. So now that we have all our information marked in our um, word problem, we can go down here and write our um, inequality. So we have um, 999 plus 129x, and we know our maximum is $28. So we know that's our maximum, so, our, um, so it, we want it to be less than, but we can go ev exactly even to $28, so we're going to put our, it's less than or equal to, that's where we get or equal to sign on the bottom. Okay, so now um, our first step, add or subtract, we want to get this uh, $1.29x by itself, so we're going to subtract $9.99 from both sides. I couldn't really line up my decimals there, but um, if you need to, come over to the side to subtract. Those are zero pairs. We have $1.29 left and $18.01. So we $1.29 uh, X is less than or equal to 1801. Our next step, they multiplied. We're going to divide both sides by $1.29. This becomes our big one, so all we have left over here is X. Let's go over here and do our division. Top in, bottom out. Move our decimal point. We don't want to decimal out in the um, number on the outside, so we're going to move it over twice, we're going to move this one over twice. Go ahead and put your decimal up there, um, just to make sure that you don't forget. 129 goes into 180, only one time. So subtract those. I get 51, I'm going to bring down this one. 129 goes into 511. I'm thinking three, let's try three. Three times nine is 27, carry my two, three times two, six plus two, eight, three times one is three.
Is that right, Ms. Nelson? Yes. Four, two, one. Okay, just barely. Now I need to bring down another zero. This goes nine times, nine times nine. Well, really, I don't even need to go any farther because I know I cannot buy 0.9 of a song. So my maximum amount of songs I can buy is 13. Okay? X equals 13. 0.9, but we know that we can only buy 13. Okay, Susie wants to go to her class trip in New York City. If she earns $8 per hour babysitting, how many hours does she need to babysit in order to raise at least the $500 needed for the trip? So let's mark our things in our problem. So she earns $8 per hour. So that's $8 is our coefficient. And she doesn't, we don't have a constant, do we? No. So she wants to earn at least, at least $500. So we have 8x and $500 at least. Ms. Nelson, what do you think is the best way to explain when we're dealing with how to figure out what the sign is? Um, well, think about it and think of it this way to see, could she earn more than $500? She could earn more than $500 and she would just have extra money on the side. So therefore, you want the 8x to be greater than or equal to the 500. If you do it the other way, you're going to get something that is less than your right. 500 and she won't have enough money to get what she needs. Right. So they already have the x by itself over here. So um, we don't need this step here of add and subtract. We're going to jump down to the, um, so I'm just going to actually rewrite my inequality down here. They multiplied, we're going to divide both sides by 8. That becomes our 1. I'm going to come down here. So f uh, 8 goes into 56 times. And 8 goes into 20, 2 times 8 twice. 2 times 8 is 16. I have a 4 remaining. I'm going to put my decimal and bring down a zero, and you can't see any of my work. <laughs> Eight goes into 45 times with no remainder. So she actually can work half of an hour, so she wants to work 62 and a half hours in order to go on her trip. Thank you. Um, so oh, what we oh, want yeah. you guys to do um, on the second page of notes that we gave you, we want you guys to try just number five by yourself. So we'll have number five completed when you come back to class tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.